Welcome everybody to today's video. Um, I wanted to let me pull this down some. Um, I wanted to do a video. I've been um, posting videos, like reposting older videos, um, trying to update some. So kind of like going over some of the um, older ones and kind of seeing what I need to update because I started YouTube in 2015 like the late 2015 so like early late 2015 early 2016 so some of my videos are pretty old I thought today that we would talk about breastfeeding when health gets in the way sometimes we feel like we have no choice but to stop breastfeeding and sometimes we may not have any choice but to stop breastfeeding. And so I thought that today's video, we would just talk about health and when it begins to, um, or when it conflicts with breastfeeding. And at what point do you make the choice to put yourself before breastfeeding and the choice to breastfeed? And is it possible to kind of put it off? Like sometimes um, it's a medication issue and you can't start taking a medication to help yourself until you... Um, you know, stop breastfeeding, and maybe you're at a point where you don't want to stop breastfeeding yet. Um, so the recommended length of time is six months to a year. So some moms will choose to breastfeed up until the six month mark, and then at that point they'll stop, and they'll begin to um, treat whatever issue they might have health wise. Some don't have that choice at all, and they just breastfeed until they cannot any longer, and then they um, begin to. You know do whatever it is they need to do in order to be able to be healthy and I think it's important to understand that there's nothing wrong with um, having to end breastfeeding when it comes to your health because health is the most important thing for you and your baby you have to be around for your baby um, we know that fat being you know breast milk is the best choice but sometimes when it comes between your health and breast milk you know you, there you don't have a choice but I kind of wanted to talk about alternatives when you do have a choice, when there is a possible choice, maybe it doesn't seem like there is. And so I kind of want to talk a little bit about um, medication options. Sometimes um, we're not aware of the different medication options. And then also um, what you can do to maybe prolong breastfeeding a little bit longer, um, different avenues that you can try. A lot of women, by the time they stop breastfeeding, they've checked everything they've done their research and then there are those that they're told they have to stop breastfeeding and they just they're like okay they feel broken about it and upset but they feel they have no choice so I kind of wanted to talk about that uh, what do you do when your doctor tells you that you have to stop breastfeeding um, just like anything else you would always want to get a second opinion there are only a few cases where you cannot breastfeed when you are ill with a certain type of illness. So HIV is something um, <clears throat> that still is an absolute no. You don't breastfeed <clears throat> if you are HIV positive. But I think the one other um, issue is when your baby is allergic to galactologs and those, that's, it's called galact, I don't even know. I'll put it in the description below, the disease that babies can get that cannot breastfeed. It's rare, but there are those cases where you would not be able to breastfeed. Um, there are medications that you take for certain conditions like autoimmune um, issues where you cannot breastfeed while you're on those medications, but there are medication alternatives. So there's alternatives. So say you were you are allergic to Tylenol, then you would have to try to find something that acts the same as Tylenol, but doesn't have the um, agent in it that you're allergic to. And so a lot of times there's medications that you can take to um, treat a condition uh, that doesn't affect breast milk or won't affect breastfeeding. And so those are the things you wanna look into. I will have in the description below a website that talks about or that you can go in and type in like a medication and it will tell you whether or not that medication is safe and I believe that it even gives you options of similar medications that you can take that are okay 
or you can do some research on the different types and then be able to check those out as well. Um, so it's really important that you, um, you look into medications, whether or not you can find an alternative, because I would never, I would never just take that as, you know, an absolute, the doctor tells me I can't breastfeed. If it's a doctor, say a rheumatoid arthritis or, you know, rheumatoid, rheumatologist, they don't know a whole lot about breastfeeding. So, or how your breast works or how, you know, um, the medication might affect your milk or not. Always go to um, your IBCLC. They can help you a lot. Uh, they can give you some advice. They'll tell you right away, yeah, you cannot um, breastfeed on this medication. Or they will help you find the medication. Um, they'll talk about the medication that they're requesting. They'll tell you what you can talk to your doctor about. And sometimes you can work out something with your doctor and find something that is safer for breastfeeding. So it's not an absolute, well, I have to give up breastfeeding. But then there are cases where um, it's just your body's not handling breastfeeding very well. Um, maybe you're losing weight and you can't gain weight. Um, whatever the case, you know, you might have to do it for your own health, and that's okay. Another option is to partially breastfeed. Sometimes when you're exclusively breastfeeding, it is a lot more out of your body. But by partially breastfeeding, you might be able to get away with breastfeeding a little bit longer. Um, those are just some things to think about. Um, health, your health is the most important thing. And you want to make sure that your baby, you know, is getting what they need, but that you're around to give them what they need. And that's really the most important thing. So it's not a long video, but I just thought that it would, it's important to address it that when your health gets in the way of breastfeeding, what do you do? There's always some things that you can look at to make sure that when you do choose to stop breastfeeding, you feel like you tried everything, that you did all the research, and this is the best choice for you. Um, education is always a power, you know, because it leads to knowledge. And the more knowledge you have, the more power you have. So when you find out a condition that you have, go do your research, look at the medications that you can take, um, talk with your doctor, talk with an IBCLC, and then make that decision. And if you decide that you're going to stop breastfeeding, you shouldn't feel bad about it um, because you're doing what's best for you. So um, what's best for you may not be what's best for someone else. And so you can't compare yourself to somebody else. Um, maybe they continue to breastfeed and you can't, and that's okay. But that doesn't make them better than you, um, nor does it make that your situation, maybe your situation, uh, your condition is not different. But in your situation, choosing to breastfeed or not to breastfeed is your choice and what's best for you. So I just wanted to make that quick video and kind of get it out there and talk about that because I don't feel like that's talked about enough. Like, what do you do if, you're, if your health is affected? Um, there are different conditions, and I could go into different ones more specifically. If that's something that you would like, you can put that um, in a comment below. And if you guys have any questions about anything, anything that I haven't talked about, feel free to um, leave that below. I do have a few more videos that I need to put out on breastfeeding the older baby. And so I kind of wanted to go into some more of those. So I got to um, boost up some videos. So I'm hoping that with kids going back to school next week that I can work on some videos and get them out for you guys. So I hope that this video helps somebody. Um, give it a thumbs up if it helped you. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure that it's um, that you're subscribed to my channel so that you're able to um, know when I put up videos. If you hit the notification bell, that will notify you when I do put out a video. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one.